Businesses are pushing back against the IRS decision to enforce the Obamacare employer mandate. Judge Napolitano is here to elucidate. This is, the employer mandate says you've got 50 employees in your company, you give them health care. Right. And if you don't give it, you're going to get fined, and now they're going to impose the fine. Right. So there were two mandates in Obamacare. Thou shalt have health care, and if you don't, we'll buy you a package and add it to your tax bill. Right. That mandate is still there, but we will add it to your tax bill was eliminated by the tax cut. Okay. The tax cut could have removed the IRS's authority to fine for failure to comply with the employer mandate. It could have removed the employer mandate altogether. But those courageous Republicans that are going to shrink government simply drop the ball. They were looking for money. They wanted the fines to be imposed Correct. so they get revenue in. Correct. So the same corporations, in this case, usually small corporations, 50 or more, but not publicly, yeah. 50 or more employees, but not publicly traded, whose tax rate went down from 35 to 21 percent, are now going to be coughing up all this money because of the uh, Obamacare mandate that the uh, Republicans could have taken care of. They'll be screaming about this. The president can stop this with a phone call. Really? The president uh, actually, before this happened, told the IRS, I really believe the individual mandate is going to be gone. Don't collect the fines on it. First time in modern American history that a president of the United States has said to the IRS, don't collect a lawful tax. He could do the same thing with this corporate tax with a phone call this afternoon. Literally, that's all it takes. Yes. A phone call. I'm yes. the president of the United States. You're the head of the IRS. Do what I say. He'd probably have to reduce it to writing, but it would give them a heads up that he was going to do it. And they can't contest this. I mean, the IRS, the IRS can't contest it. The, the can't IRS contest is it. in the Treasury Department, which is in the executive branch. They have to listen to the president. So are you attempting via this program to force the president, who may well watch this program, to get on the hook and say, hey, you at the IRS, How I wish off. I could force the president. I no, am, I know su I am <laughs> suggesting this, even though sometimes I get in trouble for suggesting things. I'm suggesting it. Yes, you do. <laughs> so that's an official suggestion. Yes, this is an official suggestion, Mr. President. <laughs> I'd love to see some action. Oh I would God. just love to see oh the action.